Many missing, but rumored of a significant amount of population found dead in their homes or the streets nearby, with all the corpses having burst eardrums and soft tissues. The tragedy was discovered far after the fact when police Family of four missing from their suburban home this Thursday night. With no signs of a break-in, neighbors reported the disappearance when they saw the backyard patio door was left open, and no one answered the front door when they... For the... Where am I? That's 30... My... Police... Seconds. Please, I need to help. The station will conduct a test of the emergency... Can anyone... ...broadcast this... ...and hear me? This is only a... Let me out. Test. This. This. Only a test. Siren Head, one of the most popular entities to bless the internet with their dread or presence. Siren Head was first born to this world through the mind of Trevor Henderson, a comics and horror illustrator. The creature is 40 feet tall with an abnormally thin frame, which has been documented to change as he hunts. Siren Head is mostly seen with what looks to be two distant sirens instead of a head. These sirens are known to hide teeth and a long tongue with the ability to mimic any and all sounds. While the pole he has for a neck is able to receive and transmit electromagnetic frequencies. He has a mummified complexion that helps him reflect less moonlight while stalking for prey. This top with his long and slender figure helps him blend in wooded areas as well as large poles and pipes. Siren Head is a silent and deadly hunter. He hunts prey by imitating local flora and fauna to make them believe that nothing is out of usual. While countering the sound and vibrations caused by his abnormally large size to sneakily catch his prey. He is also known to broadcast radio frequencies when alone. When asleep, you'd hear a white noise coming out of his speaker. When he strides through the woods, he'll play number channels, radio podcasts, and even music. Siren Head is also able to lure prey out by mimicking their loved ones' voices. He is also known to assimilate technology in his body. He can morph his body into different shapes and sizes in order to adapt and improve his hunt. The way Siren Head kills is through what I believe to be a process of vibrating the particles in the air so fast that it breaks down the cells in the body. This is what led most bodies to have been found with burst eardrums and soft tissue. One of his favorite technologies he likes to assimilate is of that of streetlights. This is when we were first fooled to believe that they were different creatures. But thanks to a post found in Trevor Stumbler, where he was asked whether or not Headlight and Siren Head were the same and we received clarification. This is when we understood Siren Head's true nature. The following is what was written under the headlight post. The rash of disappearances had two commonalities. It was always people walking the side street on their way home from work, from social outing, and it was always dark by the time people started wondering where they were. It was always past when the street lights come on, Unlike when he hunts with his siren for a head, here, he does nothing except wait until a passerby arrives. This way of hunting is more efficient in the suburbs, where there are streetlights everywhere. But this is not all. If he is able to assimilate technology and morph his body at will, then there should be instances where he has invaded homes and other buildings frequently visited. This is the same thought process that a fellow user had, and thus he asked Trevor whether Siren Head updated his biology. Trevor responded with the following. They update frequently. We found one that had somehow infiltrated a suburban home and disappeared a family of four. It had disguised itself as a piece of home furnishings, somehow, or 
some facet of the house, pipes in the walls. Now to clear misunderstanding, even though I was also at fault for spreading it, in my old siren head video, I stated that there were multiple siren heads. However, that isn't true. I was using this picture as a leeway for that idea. Someone asked Trevor directly whether there was a tribe of siren heads, and Trevor responded with, A few of them are one big species, but for the most part, they are only one, especially Siren Head, Bonesworth, Mr. Mascot, and Lung Horse. This is good news. It would mean that chances of stumbling with his Siren Head are drastically lowered. However, if you are unlucky enough to do so, a horrible fate awaits. For there is no place to hide. The best thing to do would be to become a mermot and live indoors in order to buy time. Work and buy groceries only during the daytime and avoid being caught outside during night. Also avoid getting lured out by familiar voices at night. Keep away from wooded areas at all costs and if you do catch yourself in that predicament, always keep a lookout for any out of place trees and don't be misled by noise. Otherwise, through sonification, you'll be shook to your very essence, leading to death on a cellular level. That has been Siren Head slash Lighthead. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification so that you don't miss any content and can join the early squad. Don't forget to add Trevor and myself on social media down in the description. This video's phrase was chosen by Reaper Rogue Agent. Thanks for participating, Agent. Here it comes. A false light will lead to death. <laughs>